Kenyan lawyer. So it's a Japanese company, but just working with a Kenyan lawyer. So that's T. Everyone else is maybe foreign. The Kenyan person is only the only uh, uh, the, the, the lawyer is the only Kenyan person. That is what's called token groups. And then number three, what is called bicultural groups, which I think best describes us here in Africa, which is which we have two or more members of a group of a similar or different culture who represent uh, each of two distinct cultures. Respect. So that's what we're trying to appreciate about. How do we appreciate it? The process of communication between individuals from different cultures is what we call intercultural. Communication can be very different if there's a big difference between two cultures. Hence, this is what's called too much cultural noise, which is what? At the early level, typically, so you someone say, you know, maybe you want to come out, what's your learning? So, still, and that's it. They don't understand how do you want to teach students to share it in a machine, not in school. That time was like, yeah, 50 seconds. It was a ball. One shilling, yes, it's semi corrected. It tells you which, <laughs> it tells you which generation I'm from. But they don't understand that. But that point of call box brings a whole cultural organization, which is what? You need to be a leader who really invests in soft skills and emotional intelligence. So don't give yourself, I'm just an employee, I'll just go back to you become a leader. And you become a leader, the generation of the, the world is shifting towards people who say thank you. I am sorry for that. I'm a boss, but I can say I'm sorry for that. Afraid. Because what you're going to have is a high turnover of company. Which is people coming in and leaving, and you're saying you are a bad employer. Or you, you start blaming these young people, they are appreciative of jobs. You know, in our days, we were never like this, we were always disciplined. No, times have changed, which is what? People are more aware that I, I, I'm more aware of who they are, I'm more aware of opportunities, and that's why it's very competitive the work environment. So please, if you ever become a leader of the future, of the now, invest a lot of soft skills, which is how you educate. How do you communicate body language? There's a lot of emotional intelligence. You know, so, worry about that, understand that, because that's the leader of the future. The leader of the future will be that person who can communicate with you emotional as opposed to technical. Anyone else? Like, appreciate your comment or ask anything else?